The construction of small pumping stations is dictated by local topography and our plans for the grid network. Before work begins, an area of land is purchased and fenced off. Connections to local roads are improved as required. Topsoil is removed from the working area and stored nearby where it can be reused for landscaping once the work is completed. Offices, parking and a storeroom are set up before construction. The area is then excavated with the subsoil stored on site. Foundations are poured for the pumping station. The area around the foundation is then backfilled using the subsoil. Excess soil is stored on site to be used for landscaping. A small building is then erected to include a gantry crane for use during construction and for ongoing maintenance. A roof is then installed on top of the building. A plinth is also cast to receive a transformer, generator and fuel store. Pipework is fitted within the foundations, rising up to pass through the pumps. The wiring, cabling and ducting are installed while operating systems are installed in a separate room. This is referred to as the MCC or Motor Control Centre. Once the inside has been fitted and checked, the area can be landscaped. A track is laid around the pumping station. The access point may need to be moved depending on the location of the pumping station. Trees, shrubs and hedgerows are then planted to act as a natural screen. The area around the track is topsoiled and a stock-proof fence is installed. The grassed area can then be allowed to grow. These will be decided on by a site-by-site -site basis in consultation with the appropriate parties. Depending on the location of the pumping station, it may be possible to alter the cladding of the building to better fit in with the surrounding architecture. Different access points could also make the site more discreet. This is addressed on a site-by-site -site basis through consultation with interested parties.